and millions of families have been affected by the coronavirus, including our KSET family. Indeed, one of our own, GMSA Weekend producer Gabi Añez, fought the virus for weeks. She's doing okay now, and after recovering, she decided to do her part to help critically ill patients by donating convalescent plasma. And she joins us now live in our studio to tell us about her experience. Good morning. Hi, Gabby. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Glad you're here. I know you're nervous, but don't be. It's yes. just us. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> okay. First off, tell us about your experience with coronavirus. What were your symptoms and how long did they last? So they lasted over a month. Um, it, was, it wasn't as bad as other people, but um, it definitely uh, hit me hard. I, had, um, I first started feeling very sick, kind of tired, um, but I thought it was because it was my end of, the end of my work week. So I was like, well, I'm tired. It's a tough schedule anyway. Yeah, right? yeah I work overnights. So I was like, I'm tired. I'm just going to go home, take a nap, and relax. So I went home, and I started getting chills. And I was like, I still didn't think any of it. I was like, OK, maybe it's just still tired. Let's see what the next day is. And the next day came, and I started having body aches. Chills were still there. I had a low fever um, and then cough. And then out of nowhere, all the symptoms came. I, I lost my uh, sense of taste and smell. Oh, wow. um, I started having stomach issues and um, my skin, which is weird because I've never heard of this happening. My skin started getting very dry as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, I started feeling very sick and that I, it lasted for a month. I know it lasted a long time. Yeah. You know, well, we're glad to see you back and, and doing better. Thank you. And, you know, for, thank you for being here. <laughs> you know, and for people at home, what made you decide to donate your plasma? Well, you know, I've heard, I've read and write stories here at work over about coronavirus and all these numbers and the, the city numbers and who's, you know, the deaths and stuff. And I always had back in my mind, if I ever get it, I want to get the good out of it, um, and that would mean donate plasma. So when I actually got it, and when I actually started feeling very sick, I couldn't imagine how other people are feeling, the mm -hmm. people that are in the hospital, in the ICU, in, on ventilators. So that's when I was like, okay, when I finish with this, when I'm done with this, I'm definitely going to help other people because I want, I want to save lives. I want people to know that there's someone there taking care of them. Walk us through that process, Gabby, of donating plasma. Uh, what did you have to do? How was it? It wasn't as complicated as I thought. At first, I thought it was, OK, I'm just going to send an email, and then I'm never going to get he hear anything back from uh, the blood center. But it actually, um, I sent an email, and then the next, after two days, I heard back, and um, and then they send me a form, I fill out the form, and then they schedule me for an appointment. And that appointment was only to uh, get some samples to see if my blood pressure and my, uh, my blood levels were fine. Uh, and then after that, you know, they were, okay, you're good to go. So I scheduled my plasma appointment. And there you are with your plasma. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. I and actually. I know you're smiling under that mask. <laughs> I am. Yeah. And I actually, when I got there, they told me, you're saving four lives. So every time I you donate, you save four lives. Oh, bravo. Well, Gabby, thank you so much for coming in and telling your story. And thank we're, you. We're so glad that you are healthy and happy and, yes. uh, and a part of our morning family. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me.